a very good afternoon to one and all i extend a warm welcome to dr manjula jain ma'am associate dean academics and president of iictmu i also extend a hearty welcome to our external members from our mentor institute dr aruna bhat paul hod department of mba and convener for iic rit roorkee and mr gorav chaturvedi innovation activity coordinator iic rit roorkee i also cordially welcome all the faculty and student members of iic tmu now i invite dr manjula jain ma'am to address the gathering thank you dr gitanshu uh, very good afternoon to one and all present here and uh, a very uh, special uh, greetings to our external members who have been associated with us through the mentor mentee scheme uh, professor aruna bhat ma'am and uh, dr Go uh, gaurav for being here and uh, uh, giving us the valuable mentorship under this mentor mentee program i also welcome all the esteemed members of uh, various colleges constituent colleges of the thankar mahavir university who have been doing a great job uh, and they have been coordinating very well undertaking all various kinds of uh, uh, activities mandated by the iic calendar so i am very pleased to share with all of you that we have uh, been successful in summiting the quarter 1 quarter 2 activities and uh, we have also been successful in completing the requirement uh, and more than the required number of activities could have been conducted just because the dedication and the full fledged cooperation that we received from our coordinators they have been doing excellently well and have been taking great strides in uh, you know in taking up all the activities in the best possible manner and i am also very much thankful to madam bhat who uh, had arranged a good session uh, for us and that was really very much informative and we look forward to many more such kind of activities uh, in the future and uh, as ma'am might be knowing that uh, there are certain set of activities that we would be requesting her from time to time so that our students our faculty coordinators are also uh, getting some kind of guidance from them and uh, we wish to have uh, more and more value addition to our iic component and uh, Ma'am might be knowing that we have scored a four-star rating in uh, the first this uh, IAC 3.0, and the whole credit goes to our team members who have uh, made us to see this day, where we can boast of that. Yes, we are amongst the ten top institutions in the northern region. So, without uh, taking much of the time, I congratulate all of you and special thanks to Ma'am uh, Aruna Bhat, Ma'am, and her team. and uh, i would request madam to be uh, associated with us and we would certainly like to be associated with you madam in the physical mode wherever whenever you think that we can have a physical interaction in the best possible manner whether our faculty can come there or our students can visit your place or any such kind of interaction we would be more than happy if you visit our place uh, under this mentor mentee institution so with these words i again wish all the best to the success of our iic and uh, um, hope to have a very fruitful association with our mentor institution thank you so much uh thank you ma'am so now proceeding towards the agenda for today's meeting Sorry, I'm just facing some technical problem. Uh, in the meantime, uh, Gitanshu, yes, uh, you may invite uh, Aruna, madam, uh, so that she can also have the interaction with our uh, faculty coordinators. And later on, when the agenda point comes, where ma'am has to elaborate, so there she can come up uh, with those value additions in this uh, meeting. So um, we can invite ma'am here. Uh, ma'am, uh, Aruna, ma'am. Yeah. Good afternoon, everyone present here. first of all let me congratulate dr manjula jain uh, dr gitan shudavar and the entire team of uh, iic tmu for getting four star in this uh, quarter so uh, as uh, a mentor institute uh, we would definitely uh, i mean to say help you 
in uh, arranging many uh, you know uh, lectures wherever we find that you need guidance in terms of uh, uh, you know uh, coming out with various activities related to planning or you know action plan preparation and improvisation of internal and external activities that have to be conducted so in order to uh, you know focus more on iic driven activities as a mentor institute i uh, and professor gorav chaturvedi we will be dealing with certain aspects which are uh, you know uh, which you must be looking forward uh, for carrying out the activities in your institute so uh, related to this uh, uh, progress meeting a quarterly progress meeting what we are focusing on certain activities which can be either iic driven activities which can be uh, celebration activities as well and mic driven activities as well so uh, our focus is to guide you in terms of coming out with various experts who can help uh, your students to come out with uh, certain innovative ideas which can be converted into prototypes and later into either some products or services which will be useful to the society as well as uh, to the i mean whole nation so in order to carry out those activities which i will be discuss discussing in uh, i mean after some time when you invite me for uh, uh, giving you guidance on, on certain aspects uh, i first of all uh, would uh, like to tell you that uh, after these uh, review meetings uh, the next visit will be i mean field visit where we will definitely invite uh, mentor institute to come to our uh, institute and have a look of what our uh, students in terms of coming out with innovations and certain activities that they do in the innovation lab of our it and other uh, activities like hackathon and you know uh, technology related activities so the a brief a description uh, description of all those activities will be given by professor gorav chaturvedi so i congratulate you once again and hope this association uh, related to mentor menti institute will bear fruit and uh, will give rewards to you as well as to us thank you so much for inviting thank you so much ma'am yes thank you ma'am uh, i hope my voice is audible yes it is it is okay fine that's fine so first of all good afternoon to all the dignitaries who are attending this session and uh, uh, my talk is going to focus on some innovative ideas uh, right i hope you all are working on smart india hackathon portal right now have you conducted internal hackathon uh, yes uh, internal hackathon has been conducted today okay so who is the spoke uh, we have uh, yes dr rakesh divedi is the spoke but uh, sir is not available today because of okay. the hackathon that's been conducted so have you filled all the data related to the internal hackathon in smart india hackathon portal yes yes everything has been done okay that's great that's great so basically my talk is going to focus on uh, you can say the brief idea of how you will upload all the ideas on smart india hackathon portal and how the students will get the verification link once you are going to submit those ideas through the smart india hackathon portal a particular team leader will get the you can say verification link and uh, they will also get some kind of credentials like username and password by using those credentials they will be able to upload those ideas so as you know that uh, this is the fifth edition of smart india hackathon and uh, prior to conducting this uh, smart india hackathon session this year uh, th there are already four session uh, has been conducted so far in 2017 2018 2019 and 2020 to in 2020 the last session was conducted in smart india hackathon and uh, from our college uh, one team was shortlisted shortlisted in the grand finale of smart india hackathon 2020 okay so basically i am just sharing my screen i hope you you have already given me the rights to share my screen ah, i'll just give you the rights one yeah. if you allow me uh, professor gorav i would also like to add some input over here um 
regarding the participation of uh, Tirthankar Mahavir University in SIH 2020. And um, uh, two teams from Faculty of Engineering and Computing Sciences, okay. uh, they were awarded by uh, Airport Authority of India. And uh, another project was for Ministry of Bihar that was related to some agri-tech. So yes. the student teams, they bagged one lakh each for their uh, idea solutions that they offered to these authorities. That's great. That was a, that was a yeah. great success for us. And yeah. this time also, we have uh, got nominations from 20 teams. And uh, those 20 teams, uh, they are uh, still the process is going on. And the report would come to me uh, somewhere in the uh, evening. So yeah, I'll definitely most, share. Yeah, at most you can upload only 15 ideas. Yeah. Uh, on a Smart India Hackathon portal, uh, 10 ideas will be in the shortlist category and 5 idea ideas will be in waitlist wait category. Yeah. 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 Uh, so you can share your screen. Okay, fine. I hope you all are getting this first screen. SIS.gov.in. Yes, it is. It is. Visible. So obviously, this is the you can say the web page which is comprising the num a lot of problem statements. As you know that uh, there are 103 problem statements in the hardware category and 459, uh, 459 problems in the software category. So you have already conducted the internal hackathon. So I hope your students have prepared the PPT, which is comprising uh, the name of the problem statement with problem statement number. Uh, if you are uh, getting here, you are finding th this is the PS number. Suppose your student is having some proposed solution for any problem statements. So your, your students have already prepared the slides mentioning the problem statements with PS number. Suppose for a single problem statements, three or four teams are fighting. So, but you have to upload only one proposed solution onto the Smart India Hackathon portal. So, your students will get the number of problem statements from this portal, right? After shortlisting all the problem statements, or you can say after shortlisting all the proposed solution, what will be the next step? This is the next step I'm sharing with you. The college spoke person will do the login by using his own credentials. This is the first step you can see on the left side. In step number one, internal hackathon tab is there. If your spoke person will click on this tab, this is the step number one. And you are getting, this is a form. You can say this is the web page, which is, uh, this is, you can say the kind of template where a lot, lot of fields are there. Team name, category, hardware or software category, you are going to upload those solutions. In which category you are going to upload. Team status, status, whether you have shortlisted the particular team in a shortlist category or waitlist category, right? This is the responsibility of college spoke person. If you are thinking that this is the good proposed solution, then obviously your college spoke person will select the shortlist category. It means uh, th these are the top 10 proposed solutions you are going to upload on a Smart India Hackathon portal, right? Similarly, you can just nominate five ideas in a waitlist category, right? Then this is very important step, upload consent letter, right? Your students will get, you can say consent from the college spoke person. This is very, very important step. And uh, one more thing, which is very essential. There is no prior, you can say the defined format. You cannot use the uh, defined format, right? The format is already predefined. This is the kind of template I am sharing with you. So a student has to use this kind of template to upload the ideas. Next one is here the college spoke person. I have already registered the 13 teams uh, in Smart India Hackathon portals. 
there are 10 teams in shortlist category and three teams in waitlist wait category. So here you can just put all the names in a one by one, right? First, you will put team leader name, email ID, mobile number, gender, stream, right? In which branch he or she is studying. Then you can just uh, put all the participants or you can say team members name. So this is the next step and you will submit the particular data. So this is the way you can just upload all the details, right? After conducting the internal hackathon. So after finalizing all the details, you will get the information in this manner, like nominated teams like that. Look at the template, look at this web page. There are 13 teams I have nominated, three, one, uh, three teams in waitlist category and 10 teams in uh, shortlist category. So, but the most important thing is that, look at the last column. Last column indicates the action. It means the status of your team. So if you are going to upload the particular idea in this portal by using this portal, first of all, you will get submit or freeze button in the action column. In the action column, you will get submit and freeze button. So if you think that idea is valid, if you think that idea, uh, that proposed solution is good, you will submit, right? The particular browser will give you 60 seconds, right? To freeze the particular idea. If the 60 second is over, the idea will be freezed and the team leader will get the verification link, right? In a particular mail, the team leader will get username and password like credentials, right? By using the particular credentials, now the students will upload the particular uh, proposed solution for the particular problem statements. So this is, you can say the whole steps to upload all the ideas of a problem statements, but this is the task. This is the, uh, you can say the responsibility of college spoke person to accomplish this task. I hope you have understood. Uh, yes, uh, yes, thank you so much, sir. We have understood the entire process and if we have any difficulties, we'll definitely approach yeah, you, sir. Yes, yes, no problem. Uh, sir, shall we continue ahead? Anything else? Oh. No. Okay, there is sir, nothing sir. from my side. Okay, sir. sir. Sir, will you stop sharing? Then I can share my PPT. No, I should say here that uh, the inputs that have been shared by uh, Professor uh, Gaurav, they are really insightful for everyone because those who are not associated with this Smart India Hackathon, uh, many of the coordinators who are not from the field of technology and engineering, they are not having the idea of how to get the uh, preparation for this Smart India Hackathon. So that is why we have made the, the director and principal of Faculty of Engineering Technology as the SPOC from the university. And he has been handling this uh, kind of hackathons very well with the uh, teamwork that he has and the excellent team he has there. But that was very much uh, informative for all the other coordinators because we all know that Smart India Hackathon this time is not only limited to higher uh, education institutions, but also to the schools this time. Yeah, yes. And uh, until and unless we do not have the knowledge of what this uh, SIH is intended for. So we will not be able to come up with the actual output for it. So all the coordinators who are there present on this uh, platform, they should go through whatever has been you know, uh, informed by uh, Dr. Gaurav to all of you. And from next hackathon, I uh, explore that each and every one of you should be giving one or two ideas to the problem statements being shared by the ministries or the government departments or the uh, industries so that we do not just qualify into the technology, but we can relate it and collaborate it with other departments like health, medicine, or agri agriculture, or allied health sciences. So we have these expertise, let us collaborate it with the technology platform. So this is not only for the engineering technology people, but it applies to all in a particular multidisciplinary institution like ours. So thank you, Gaurav sir. It was a really um, very easy way how one can file up for the Smart India Hackathon and can prepare themselves. 
uh, from the introductory stage to the final stage. So thank you on behalf of TMU. Uh, Madam, um, Madam Gitanshu, you can go ahead with the agenda point and uh, quickly we would like to just run through all those agenda points. And okay. uh, yeah, please start okay. sharing. Okay, so the agenda points for today were to confirm the MOM and action taken for Q2, review of Q2 and SIH that has already been uh, taken care of, then mentor-mentee program, the plan ahead and discourse of action for conducting activities for Q3 and uh, any other matter. Coming to agenda point one. Uh, First is the action MOM and action taken for the previous meeting. So meeting of the Institutions Innovation Council was held on 15 February 2022, 3.30 p.m. onwards at the committee room. The meeting was held under the chairmanship of Dr. Manjula Jain, President IIC, TMU. And the meeting was convened by Dr. Gitanshu, convener IIC, TMU. A total of 34 faculty members and nine student members had attended the meeting. The meeting was called upon uh, to discuss the following agenda points uh, to confirm the MOM and action taken, review of TMU IIC 3.2, IIC 4.2 at a glance, review of activities conducted from October 20, 2021 to October 2022. Uh, then uh, the uh, uh, process of conducting the activities, challenges faced in conducting the quarterly activities, discourse of action for conducting the upcoming activities, and contributions from different colleges towards IIC 4.0 and any other matter. The meeting was initiated with a welcome address to the chair and all the members of the IIC by the convener. The chairperson welcomed all the members and provided all with a snapshot of IIC 4.0. The convener appraised the agenda points to all the members. Agenda point one was to confirm MOM and action taken. Uh, so basically the MOM were confirmed. Second was to uh, review TMU IIC 3.0. So TMU IIC 3.0 was reconstituted in December 2020. Prior to reconstitution of TMU IIC, uh, seven separate IIC were functional in TMU uh, with the name of the respective colleges and departments. Before the release of the star rating of IIC 3.0, all the IICs belonging to the same institute and in the same IIC code were merged and it was all merged into a centralized uh, TMU IIC. And the star rating of TMU IIC also progressed from a one star to a four star rating and no action was required for the same. Agenda point three, IIC 4.0 at a glance. All the new features and schemes uh, that are introduced in the IIC 4.0 were elaborated upon like uh, the mentor mentee scheme, the impact lecture series, the adult school linkages, Kapila, Yukti 2.0 and Arya. So uh, the first session under the aegis of mentor mentee scheme was conducted on 31st January, to, uh, sorry, 31st uh, January 2022 under the guidance and in collaboration with the mentor institute. TMU IIC chose to mentor five schools under the Atal linkage uh, program and also we got registered for Kapila and Arya. Then coming to the review of activities conducted from October 2021 to February 2022. So um, all the activities conducted were reviewed and contributions from different colleges were applauded. Uh, no action was required for the same. Agenda point uh, five, the process for conducting the activities. The process of conducting activities was discussed. Along the procedure of writing a report, the points included in the report were deliberated upon according to the guidelines published on the MOE portal. The guidelines for conducting the activities were discussed in detail as the same shall be uploaded on the MOE portal. All the activities of the quarter were carried out according to the guidelines of the MOE portal. Then coming to agenda point six, challenges faced in conducting quarterly activities. All the challenges uh, that uh, everybody was facing were deliberated and resolved. And uh, also uh, any um, uh, problems uh, that were being faced by the coordinators were brought into notice and they were resolved. Then coming to agenda point seven, discourse of action for conducting the upcoming activities. The calendar for IIC 4.0 has already been notified by the MOE. All the cho teams uh, must choose activities for Q2 according to their domain and provide a tentative date for conducting the same. And a total of 12 activities were carried out in that particular quarter. Then contributions from different colleges towards IIC 4.0 uh, in terms of uh, activities, workshops, seminars, guest lectures pertaining to innovation, entrepreneurship, and IPR was listed and commended. 
then various activities were conducted in accordance with the same with the same theme basically innovation entrepreneurship and ipr thereby generating the awareness about the same coming to agenda point 9 any other matter there was uh, no other matter a uh, minutes of meeting confirmed uh, ma'am uh, your speaker is off please members uh, kindly confirm the minutes of the meeting can they be confirmed yes madam confirm okay so madam dr uh, sunil has uh, confirmed the minutes and uh, Mr. Rakesh Yadav has seconded. Please record the same. Okay, ma'am. Thank you. Coming to agenda point two. So all the activities conducted, and uh, because since we all know that the Q one and the Q two were merged, so a collaborative. Uh, this is a collaborative list of the activities that were conducted uh, in Q one as well as Q two. So I'll just go to the summary bit. So a total of uh, seven IIC calendar activities were conducted. Three celebration day activities, then self-driven activities were nine, and MIC driven activities were three. Now coming to agenda point three. Ah, uh, I would like to intervene here. Yes. Ah, uh, Dr. Kitanshu, can you please apprise us that uh, which college has taken up the highest number of uh, activities in quarter one and quarter two from TMU? Uh, Ma'am, uh, the College of Paramedical Sciences and College of uh, uh, the, the Dental College are at par with each other. Very both good. of these colleges have done really well. So both the coordinators require an applause, and uh, thank their, you, Ma'am. Uh, yeah, their actions need to be uh, you know appreciated. And uh, I think all the institute, all the colleges have given their participation this time. And uh, I would again request to all the coordinators, those who haven't been able to make up in quarter one and quarter two. they can still have the time for submission in quarter 3 and quarter 4 and they should now buck up their efforts so that they can also have the participation and that they can be you know contributing towards the star rating uh, for uh, iic 4.0 also so congratulations to uh, the paramedical college and dental college and again congratulations to all the colleges those who have contributed in any number of activities but Best to all other colleges, those who haven't made up so far. Uh, Madam, please go ahead. Thank you. Uh, coming to uh, the agenda point three, so we've already been uh, given a very uh, detailed uh, uh, information about Smart India Hackathon by uh, Gaurav sir. So coming uh, to the internal hackathon, for basically the spoke for our uh, T. Sankar Mahavir University is Dr. Rakesh Kumar Devedi. and the internal hackathon was held today 10 am onwards coming to agenda point 4 that is the mentor menti uh, program and the plan ahead so as we all are aware that the mentor institute for us is rurki institute of technology so now i request uh, dr aruna bhat ma'am to brief us about the way forward plan under the mentor menti program ma'am please thank you geetanshu ma'am uh, let me first tell you about the mandate of uh, mic so uh, the mandate of mic is uh, it is uh, typically based on you know encouraging students and inspiring them uh, and nurturing young students by supporting them with the new ideas and transform these ideas into prototypes so as i can see that you know uh, from different institutes under the umbrella of tmu uh, the institutes have done really uh, well in all types of activities uh, maybe it is uh, you know uh, the uh, self driven activity or it is iic calendar activity or it is celebration activity most of the institutions uh, you know they have contributed uh, i mean uh, at their friends and uh, obviously as you can as you have already told that you know paramedical and dental colleges they have they are at par with the activities that have been you know uh, they have contributed towards it so we are looking forward for more such activities because you know in in this quarter uh, what we are looking for is certain uh, lectures and certain you know uh, uh, inputs from uh, resource persons who can talk about 
pitching creative ideas what we are focusing on is though everyone is speaking about you know innovative ideas and you know coming up with uh, taking these ideas forward in terms of creating prototypes but what we are focusing as a mental institute is uh, problem identification and you know pitching creative ideas uh, just as as we had already conducted a session uh, with you where uh, our uh, expert who was talking about the pitching uh, ideas we want that more innovation design activities should come up with the students so what you need to do is you uh, you know involve more students as you have uh, institutes from different uh, i mean so segments like paramedical dental engineering technology so you can involve more and more young minds to come up with activities which can focus on process design which can focus on design thinking and they can also focus on innovative design so these are the three areas where the focus should be given and students should be motivated in terms of creating a knowledge base for them so that they can come out with certain uh, you know problems that they face or they can see in the society that 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 the where the solution is required so in terms of uh, you know coming up with activities we as a mentor institute can can arrange certain uh, more lectures uh, from our experts we also need to hire experts in particular uh, you know fields who are experts in their domains who can come out with activities which are uh, which are uh, focused on uh, innovation design or which are focused on process design so uh, in terms of understanding and gaining the knowledge on these two aspects the students can come up with certain more uh, you know uh, ideas which can be as a part which as a part of activity driven self driven activity or mic driven activity can be taken into consideration for uploading on iic portal or they it can also help you to get uh, you know more number of activities so that you can upload them uh, on tm on the behalf of, uh, of your institute we also have uh, the way forward what we are looking for is uh, you know field field uh, activity where as i told you that we will be inviting you to visit our campus and also our innovation center so that you know uh, you as a mentee institute can see what what uh, what other resources you can provide your students so that you can uh, the students get more involved in in such a, such type of activities another thing what we are focusing on is if you can uh, come up with stories on entrepreneurship uh, it can be successful entrepreneurship or it can be uh, uh, entrepreneurs who failed in uh, you know uh, uh, taking up their ideas aapko matlab aisa ho ki topic aap se kahi to relate kare somebody is speaking in between please uh, dr ruchi please mute yourself yeah i've muted i need to dr ruchi okay so uh, i was focusing on uh, you know certain activities which are related to uh, uh, success stories of entrepreneurs so you can invite the entrepreneurs of of uh, uh, of uh, uh, i mean the entrepreneurs which are uh, near to your areas or you can invite them to talk on the on the ways how they created a particular prototype or came up with a particular product and also the uh, stories which were not successful because that will boost a kind of morale among the students to understand where they can go wrong and what steps they need uh, you know to take into consideration while uh, while while coming up with certain uh, 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 startups or coming out with a successful product or service so uh, try to find out those people who can speak who can come out it can be as as small as you know coming up with a prototype and uh, you know, taking this prototype uh, into a some uh, some process or into some product as or as big as a big entrepreneur uh, okay uh, who, who has started from a very uh, grassroots level and reached to a to a height so that will help you to uh, 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 understand the students because most of the students generally they have some idea but they do not come up because they feel they understand that uh, you know if they come up with an idea maybe it will not uh, be converted into some prototype or into some product and it can go wrong so uh, we need to make them understand that whatever idea they have it can it can be a novel idea 
but they need to take care of it and they need to understand that uh, that that whether this can be created into a useful uh, you know service or product so uh, as 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 a mentor institute what we understand is that uh, uh, we want to collaborate you in terms of uh, providing you guidance on certain uh, you know uh, uh, certain lectures and uh, field visits also that can help you in uh, you know uh, coming up with more activities based on uh, based on the innovation and other process design and design that is from my side uh thank you ma'am uh, i think it was a very uh, insightful uh, uh, talk about innovation entrepreneurship and uh, ma'am as you mentioned that uh, you know uh, talking about the entrepreneurs we've already had a lot of uh, you know guest lectures wherein our annual alumni entrepreneurs have you know shared their journey with our students and our faculty and uh, of course we are looking forward to do many more and uh, we will seek your guidance throughout it yeah definitely definitely ma'am we will be providing you guidance but uh, as as a menti institute you have so many resources you know you have so many uh, streams available with you so the only thing is understanding the opportunities and providing proper guidance to your student uh, there can be every student can have a novel idea ma'am but why why these students do not come up is because they they feel that their idea will be you know uh, will not come up uh, will not come to a particular uh, you know product or a service so uh, what we need to uh, make them is motivate them if you tell them about the uh, unsuccessful stories so i think more and more student will come up at least they can ask that they have, they, they they have an idea whether it can be considered as a novel idea or it can be converted into a prototype or a product so uh, uh, lectures definitely will have an impact on students you know uh, giving them proper guidance will also help uh, the students in coming up with uh, with with those ideas also involve faculties ma'am because you know uh, we focus more on students we do not give more opportunity to uh, faculties but there should be some part uh, you know left for faculties as well because they yes, can ma have idea at any time uh, they should also feel that they have a platform where they can share their idea or they can come in uh, come with a team of students a faculty and maybe a team of students can also come up with an idea that can get a better platform and uh, you know uh, taking this way forward in terms of creating some new product yes ma'am uh, ma'am we've been doing it in the past and we hope to continue the same in the future okay that's so nice uh coming to the agenda point 5 uh, that is uh, the discourse of action for conducting activities for q3 so as we all know that the q3 has started so all are requested to submit the nominations uh, for the activities related to the iit calendar and the celebration day activities by 25th march 2022 and uh, also it is requested uh, to get the uh, as we are inviting guest speakers in offline as well as online mode so we kindly request you all uh, to get the honorarium approved by the president and the convener prior to the uh, you know sessions um, uh, being delivered uh, so all the activities of quarter 3 must be uh, scheduled and completed by uh, uh, 30th of april and the reports for the same must be submitted by 2nd may so any doubts any questions any discussions from the members is the forum is open for all the uh, esteemed members present in the session the coordinators from different colleges if you have any of your concerns any of the challenges we have with us our mentor institution dr aruna ma'am is here mr dr gaurav is here so you can put up your queries or challenges if any so that you can learn in the due course of action uh madam uh, this is a, a general concern that i would be sharing with you uh, madam bhat yes uh, most of uh, our coordinators they have certain apprehensions that uh, 
most of the activities that are mentioned in the IAC calendar, they uh, pertain to technology sector, technology domain. And earlier there was this kind of apprehension that was much, much there. Now it, I think 80% to 90% has been solved and they are coming up with a lot of good workshops and activities. Mm -hmm. So uh, like when we talk about uh, the prototype, uh, proof of concept and all these, you know, so sometimes the health uh, sciences department of our university and uh, non-technical side uh, of our university, jitne bhi programs hain, so they have this apprehension that is it meant for us? So uh, we would be requiring your uh, guidance in this regard that if you could have or uh, provide your uh, guidance ki how these, these colleges, these coordinators can take up such kind of activities and uh, they can guide their students to work in this direction. Ma'am, let me tell you that, uh, you know, I, I think paramedical, uh, pharmaceutical, dental, they have more scope as compared to engineering and technology. Uh, this is because, you know, uh, paramedical science and medical uh, stream is, uh, you know, uh, is advancing like anything. You can, you can work on nanotechnology. Uh, you can work on uh, other parameters of medical science because I think so. There is a vast field where, where the activities can be conducted based on uh, you know, the, the, the basis of uh, science can be taken into consideration. It is not only for technology, because as a mentor institute, we also have engineering, agriculture, I, I, being, a, uh, I being the HOD of MBA department. So okay. we, we also have this technical and non-technical issue. We also come up with, uh, you know, we face also these difficulties when students come from uh, agriculture and, and from, you know, management side, and they say that, uh, you, we do not have so much of scope in coming up with, uh, with any such idea, but it is not only for technology and science, ma'am. It is, it is for each and everyone. For management students, you have certain problem identifications in coming up with certain, uh, you know, aspects related to management. It is not only in, you can come up with, with any problem re uh, related to motivation, with any problem related to leadership with any problem related to you know satisfaction stress level work balance work life balance so anything which can help the society uh, uh, society in a in a larger section you can come up with but yes definitely if it is it is uh, you know backed up with the technology that will give it a, a boost to you know to 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 this idea to be novel agriculture has a lot of scope you can see you know there are so many segments where where agriculture has, uh, uh, you know, uh, joined hands with technology and come up with with certain aspects where uh, you know agriculture and forestry are again, you know, taking up certain um, uh, you know uh, uh, technology related activities, and they are also coming out with solutions to different problems which which were not even considered some years back. So it is not only for uh, technology and engineering. Any, uh, you can, if you feel like it is not for management or other, other streams, so what you can do, you can jointly take up a, uh, you know, problem identification, which can have some aspect of management and uh, some aspect of technology. Come up with an idea where, where the principles of management are involved and it can be related to technology and you can come up with a service. It is not every time a product or it is not every time, uh, you know, a prototype. Come up with a theory which, which is, which is backed up with the management and some technology related to it or some science related to it. So any such activities which can help students to come up with, with uh, you know, um, uh, uh, coming up with certain aspects, we can solve the, uh, the, the problem of society. That can be an activity where, where you, you can be involved. So uh, join your hands with, uh, paramedical can join with technology, dental can join with agriculture, so it is not that, uh, you know, uh, only one stream can come up. It can be a joint effort by two streams, by two uh, departments and coming up with an idea. So there should not be any such apprehension. Yes, previously it was that it is not open for all, but it is not. You can club two or streams together and come up with any such activity or any such product or any such prototype, which can be useful overall for you as well as uh, society as well. Uh, thank you, ma'am, and very well explained. Uh, I still have a query because my 
coordinators i i don't know why they are not putting it up and i know that these questions are uh, there in their mind and uh, i can say that with confidence because uh, in this sih 2022 uh, internal hackathon uh, i was curious to find out that uh, what all colleges uh, constituent colleges they have participated and i got to know that all 20 teams uh, they are from our engineering technology okay. and um, different streams of engineering and uh, computer science and uh, the only problem that i could guess out from their discussions is ki they were quoting ki uh, everything was related to like advanced uh, tools related to computer science software or hardware and we our students are not much aligned to those concepts mm-hmm. um, uh, mr devrath is there ms deepthi is there from management please unmute yourself so ma'am this is just uh, for the sake of knowledge and information to all my coordinators that uh, the like 13 nominations you have made in sih 22 from your college as uh, informed by uh, dr gorav so uh, could you please uh, explaining us that what is the mix of all those uh, ideas uh, statements that have been given to uh, the different uh, problem statements are they purely from engineering or they have the mix of management students also ma'am generally most of the activities are related to engineering and technology mm. but what 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 uh, management students are doing is that you know coming out with problem statements you know uh, yeah. uh, you you can say a business plan so this business plan this problem statement and defining the areas which mm. can be considered while making a problem statement it is all management principles it is all the, the the students that they have made their plans that they have find out certain aspects or you know perspectives which we consider while while uh, uh, defining for a product so once you you come up with a uh, an idea so it is not only that you have to consider this idea and convert it into a product so what is important is financial aspects you need feasibility reports which are marketing feasibility reports financial feasibility reports so it is a part of management it is not a part of engineering only we consider here feasibility reports we consider here market viability so these are all the principles of management so it doesn't go only with technology or engineering it has to be backed up with the management so what we consider is if it is uh, the product or the idea is technology related it is backed up with the management principles so we involve certain mba students also with the engineering students so so that they can come up with a better plan or make a uh, you know uh, a proper business plan which is which is uh, difficult for any undergraduate student to come up with management students have those principles or they you know understand the theory behind it so they come up with a more logical and more uh, you know viable uh, business plan so that has the chance of getting converted into a novel idea or or ultimately into a start so that is where management principles come uh, take their uh, you know turn mm, that's what um, i was you uh, know uh, wanted to know my uh, wanted to know that my uh, coordinators should not have this kind of apprehension that this sih or such kind of uh, activities which are mentioned in the iic calendar are purely for tech people but yes you can combine and collaborate with each other so that the parts may be handled as per your expertise no, so uh, with these insights madam i am hopeful that uh, next time whenever sih uh, 23 is organized we shall be coming up with more of the diversified uh, groups and the team members and uh, this time i got to know that paramedical sciences uh, they also had the uh, participation but due to certain you no know, shortcomings use of softwares and uh, the programming languages they were uh, heavily involved into it so i i don't think that ki ye sab cheeze they, they will have any kind of constraint uh, in the later period so we would require more of your expertise to train our coordinators on this so that they can come up more uh, with more guidance to their students also okay we look ma'am, forward we are, to such yeah. kind of guidance also ma'am right ma'am right we are open for each and every such query because that will also help our students to you know come up with more such ideas we are involving them 
so definitely it will help you as well as it will help us to come up with more such ideas uh, you know in that, that is the key to success ma'am collaborate right. and then we can succeed together right ma'am right. synergies develop accordingly obviously ma'am yes we, we and we are looking for those synergies also yeah ma'am so nice of you ma'am and uh, dr gitanshu Yes, is there any other matter i think most of the matters have been discussed under any other matter uh, agenda point uh, ma'am nothing now everything has been discussed okay so, so uh, i'd like to extend my heartfelt thanks to dr mandula jain ma'am for her constant support and guidance and i express my heartfelt gratitude to the external members from our mentor institute for their valuable participation and their valuable guidance and last but not the least i would like to thank all the iit members that have been uh, very patient and very thankful to them for their presence here thank you everybody thank you thank you madam thank you so much ma'am thank you looking forward for such meetings again same here ma'am and uh, yeah. please uh, consider this request that we we can have a physical interaction with each other either at your place or at our place do let us know what is the best time that right. we can have the physical interaction with each other Definitely, face definitely. to face interaction matters a lot. Just because yes, 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 we wanted yes. you to be here on this platform, so definitely. we have conducted online meeting. Our members also wanted to have a look at who is our mentor. <laughs> so yes, now that they have got to see definitely. you also. Now, actually, after this pandemic, we have understood the value of you know meeting with each other and being physically present. Definitely has an impact over this uh, you know online interaction. Correct. So, correct, ma'am. So it's wonderful, ma'am. Uh, listening to you, meeting uh, you will uh, again be a request. And, yeah, definitely, definitely ma'am. We will be inviting you to our campus also in future, uh, based on the you know uh, the guidance that we will be providing you, and also from your side because that will uh, that will give a you know a boost to us also. It will be as as you said a synergy between you and us. So definitely, it should it should help each other. We should help each other so that you also move forward and we also. You know, sure, ma'am. And let's plan it before fourth wave crisis. Right, 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 ma'am. Right, definitely, definitely. Okay, ma'am. Thank, thank you so you, much. Thank Have thank a good you, day ahead. Yeah. Thank you so much, and wish you all the best. Thank, thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you, members. Thank you, ma'am.